Let's not spend too much time with this because it's a really simple idea, but I can share with you a few ideas that will really help you do this easily. You may have seen these floating around in the background of some of my videos and the question pops up often enough that I want to show you how to do it. It's just made from a plastic paint can and they're cut perfectly to the size of a margin trowel and they're super, super, super handy. You may just want a little pail that has a flexible top and so you may just want to remove this top metal ring, that's fine. Or you could make one of these at five inches if you want, that's the size that I recommend. But you can adapt this method to however you want to make them. You will need a block of wood cut to the height that you want to make your vessel. You'll need a razor blade, preferably sharp, a little bit of oil, and some clamps. This one's already cut, but it will help us visualize. I'm looking right at the corner here, and I want my razor blade to be proud. Just a little bit, maybe like a quarter inch, so that it doesn't bend. That should help you understand what we're doing. And this clamp will just set the position of this thing for consistency. Do you have to use the oil? No, but you also don't have to use a sharp blade, both of which will make this process way easier. Don't try to do it all in one pass. The first rotation is just to make a score line, and we want to go around probably three or four times. That stuff there, is shellac, believe it or not. We have dozens of these things. It seems like I've made a million. I don't know where they end up. It seems like they keep disappearing. So since you can't get enough, I just turn every old paint can into one. And so if you wanted to make one of these full-size buckets, you would just replace this 2x4 block with something a little bit smaller. And this way, you can easily cut away the metal ring from the top of the bucket. Don't go away yet. I have one more trick to show you. When you use this method with a sharp blade and some oil, you will get a laser straight cut. But the cut's so straight that it's kind of sharp. So, instead of wasting your time sanding this edge if you want it to be smoother, give it a little bit of oil. Now just use the center of your razor blade like this to knock the edge down. There we go. One more to add to the collection. I hope you found this useful. Give it a try. You'll be using these for everything. See you next time.